The latest information that we're getting to you on this tragic story that we've reported here on India Today through the day today is that Prime Minister is chairing that key meeting of the Chief of Defence, uh, uh, the, the Cabinet Committee on Security, I beg your pardon, at his residence in Delhi after it has been formally declared that Chief of Defence Staff General Bipin Rawat has lost his life along with 12 others in, the, in that helicopter crash in Kunur uh, shortly after noon today. A motion of condolence is being discussed at the Prime Minister's meet. The Prime Minister was briefed about the sequence of events before the Cabinet Committee on Security as well. Polami is with us uh, live uh, from right outside the Prime Minister's uh, estate where the meeting is taking place at this point of time. Uh, 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 Polami, a uh, motion of condolence has uh, come up at the uh, Cabinet Committee on Security meeting for Chief of Defence Staff General Bipin Rawat. Tell us a little bit more about what you're hearing. Well, uh, Shiv, as you've been telling our viewers, the Cabinet Committee on Security is currently underway at the Prime Minister's uh, residence. Uh, uh, the top ministers who, in fact, are members of uh, the Cabinet Committee on Security are present in that meeting. Uh, condolences have been paid uh, to the families of uh, those uh, deceased in this very tragic accident that took place in Tamil Nadu this afternoon. And also, of course, uh, you know, uh, uh, mourning the loss of uh, India's first uh, Chief of Defence Staff as well. A motion. Uh, of condolence has also been uh, moved and passed as well. What we also believe is that a detailed presentation of sorts is being made in terms of apprising the Prime Minister as to what was the sequence of events and what exactly has uh, transpired uh, this afternoon in the Nilgiris in terms of for whatever facts they've managed to ascertain and gather at the moment. So that is what is being done in that crucial CCS meeting uh, which is currently underway at the Prime Minister's residence. Remember, like I was pointing out earlier as well, uh, the Prime Minister had been briefed by the Raksha Mantri himself about uh, the incident and the news that was trickling in at about 1 p.m. even before, of course, the cabinet began. The cabinet was scheduled to begin at 1 p.m. this afternoon as it happens on every Wednesday. But before that, at about 12.20 p.m., we'd seen the National Security Advisor rush into Parliament and uh, we believe that he informed uh, the Raksha Mantri. The Raksha Mantri then subsequently informed the Prime Minister uh, as well. Uh, he, of course, uh, was in present. He was present, the Raksha Mantri, in that cabinet meeting, which he left uh, midway uh, and then, of course, went to South Block office in order to be briefed by the officials so now of course they've managed to gather much more information in terms of uh, uh, you know details of what exactly transpired and we believe that those details are currently being shared with the Prime Minister and that top uh, body of uh, the government which is of course the Cabinet Committee on Security. Okay, A.K. Anthony, former Defence Minister of India, is with me on the phone line. Uh, Anthony, sir, thank you for speaking to India today. A terribly tragic day, sir. Your reactions on the demise of Chief of Defence Staff General Bipin Rawat and 12 others, sir. It is a very tragic day for cost us the precious life of India's first chief of defense staff, General William Rawat. He was a true soldier and a true leader. According to my assessment, he is one of the tallest military leaders India has ever seen. She shows at this juncture, particularly when India is facing serious challenge from China and Pakistan in the border. And also, we don't know what will be the development in Afghanistan. At this crucial juncture, when countries, national security is in great danger, those of such a brave leader, military leader, General purpose luggage to Indian, our country, and also our military. And I remember the days when I worked with the team when I was defense minister. I pay my respectful homage to him. I salute his valor. I also try to convey my condolence 
to its family members and also Indian Armed Forces. Anthony, sir, uh, he, uh, you know, General Bipin Rawat was the first chief of the defense staff. He had many very important projects, sir, for synergy, uh, you know, that he was working on at this point of time. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, um, uh, Anthony, sir, thank you very much for speaking to India today. I'll let you go for the moment. Thank you for your message of condolence as well, which has reached the family. These are first images coming in from inside the Cabinet Committee on Security meeting where the Prime Minister... Uh, is meeting with his top top uh, top uh, team members from the government and the security establishment uh, at seven lokalyan marg where uh, a motion of condolence has just been moved at this cabinet committee on security meet a motion of condolence has been moved and discussed uh, we are we are yet to ascertain whether the prime minister will be making a statement he is he has tweeted about this issue uh, but given the close relationship between the prime minister and the Chief of Defence Staff, General Bipin Rawat, uh, there is speculation at this time about whether the Prime Minister will come out and address the nation or make a statement about the loss of India's top, senior most serving military officer at this time. These are images uh, from inside seven Lok Kalyan Mar. You can see uh, the Prime Minister, the Defence Minister, the Finance Minister, uh, the, 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 the Home Minister, uh, Armed Forces Chiefs, the National Security Advisor and others at this, at this uh, grave, very, very grave uh, Cabinet Committee on Security meeting. Uh, I want to bring in Polomi for more on this. Uh, Polomi, uh, uh, we've got images of the CCS uh, on our screens right now. I just had a query, Polomi. Uh, is, it, is it possible? Is there any information at all? We know that the Prime Minister has tweeted his condolences. Do we know if the Prime Minister will be... Uh, you know, doing a video message of any kind because, uh, you know, these are, after all, unusual circumstances. It was the country's uh, top military uh, leader. Uh, is there a possibility of some kind of address or video message from the Prime Minister yet? No, Shiv, uh, we're not hearing anything about a video message at the moment. I believe uh, that, you know, uh, when, of course, uh, the nation pays its last uh, respects uh, to uh, uh, the departed souls, uh, the Chief of Defence Staff, India's first Chief of Defence Staff, uh, there's a possibility that, of course, uh, after that, uh, there could be uh, some sort of a message from uh, the Prime Minister. But at the moment, what we've been told is he has, of course, uh, expressed his uh, uh, grief and shock over this news which has uh, come in uh, through the tweets that he's uh, put out. Obviously, he's been constantly briefed about about this because this is a, a, the enormity of this entire incident is something which the establishment is only grappling with at the moment and is trying to sort of uh, uh, you know figure their way around it in terms of uh, acquiring the details of it so at the moment we do not expect a video message or a statement uh, that is uh, that is uh, that is going to come out of uh, the Prime Minister's uh, office you stay with me uh, Polomi we're also getting uh, you know, uh, uh, people who were close to General Bipin Rawat and Mrs. Madhulika Rawat uh, in on this uh, coverage. Uh, uh, Major General Dilawar Singh is a well-known uh, defense analyst. He's a, an army veteran and also someone who's a close friend of General Bipin Rawat and his family. Uh, uh, General Dilawar Singh, thank you for being with us here on India Today on this very, very tragic day. Your thoughts, your sentiments today, sir, as we pay tribute to General Bipin Rawat, someone who was your friend. Most solemn tribute to this very fine leader that we've lost today. A leader of such, a very humane person, an excellent leader, I think, par excellence, unmatchably. It will be difficult to find a match for uh, Jal Bhutin Rawat, the first chief of defense staff that India created. I happen to be very fortunate to have uh, been very close to him. Uh, we were trained together in the Indian Military Academy and thereafter a number of times we were again co-trainees in different institutions. And we had the privilege of working together. And uh, recently when I met him a few days ago, uh, he was sharing his uh, ideas and uh, dreams. He was thinking of uh, helping the infantry soldier who retires very early so that he can be given extension. And uh, they can also live a better life. He was also thinking as to how to improve 
the synergy between the different uh, wings of the armed forces in a way that we are more synergistic and that our combat capabilities multiply. I think that is the kind of uh, lecture that we are going to take today in the Defence Services Staff College. A similar message we were to give at the Higher Command and the Higher Defence Management course. Uh, I can very confidently say that uh, he was on the right path. His uh, very astute leadership he was able to demonstrate in all the assignments that he has held. Uh, whether it was Doklam or the recent Chinese uh, issue, he was able to handle things very, very maturely. Uh, this number of his statements which people could not understand, uh, he explained a lot of them to me, and I can say that we had very sound logic to everything that he was thinking, everything that he was planning, everything that he was doing. A very sound strategic leader, a very good uh, commander, I think we, India has lost a great person. At a very India has lost a great son, General, as you very rightly I point think. out. He was sword of honor, sword of honor, and right from the time when he was a cadet, he had a goal, he had a luxury, he wanted to achieve something, and through his life, whether as a soldier or subsequently as a general, his single aim was to achieve what he set out to do. Uh, and even as CDS, whether it's synergy or improving the life of a Jawan, he was at it constantly, General. That's right. He, he did get a sword of honor and he was, in fact, uh, leading the armed forces in a direction uh, with very, very meticulously. And uh, I'm very sure that... Uh, India is a very strong country. We have large number of officers. Although it will be difficult to find his match, but India, I'm sure, will be able to find another person who will be able to take the armed forces ahead with similar speed and gusto. He was also very keen on Indianization. Uh, you know, do away with some of the British legacies, move forward. Um, it's it's the Indian army, Indian culture, Indian ethos that should reflect in our in our army. And the Jawans should have a bigger say. Uh, you know, this British Indian Army culture of a major difference between officers and Jawans. He wanted more teamwork. And that is something that he set out to do. That was, that remained his endeavor, General Dilawar. Not only did he think of doing that, he actually implemented that. And large number of fields, large number of equipment. Yeah. You will see that they, they bear a stamp of our indigenous manufacturing. And uh, this particular direction, he was very sure, very confident, and very methodical. And that is what he was trying, and he was getting a lot of success in it. It was, uh, I mean, it, it, it's an unspeakable tragedy for the family, for the friends uh, of, uh, of General Bipin Rawat. The, uh, you know, this tragedy is, it, it's going to take a long time for this to sink in and for it to be digested. How unpredictable, as Gaurav, my, my colleague, so rightly said, that how unpredictable life has proven to be. General Bipin Rawat had his hands full of, of uh, you know, of, of his duties, uh, of his frontline duties as the Chief of Defence Staff, uh, you know, handling so many things, uh, uh, you know, the military affairs. He was, he, uh, you know, he was jetting across the country for uh, to meet many of his commitments at many of these military institutions. Yesterday he was at an event where he gave a lecture. Today he was supposed to give a lecture in the afternoon at the Defence Services Staff College, and he is no more. The Indian Army has just put out a statement. I just want to read that out for you. We'll have that text on your screen uh, in just a moment uh, as well. Uh, uh, l let me just break for you what the what, what the Indian Army has put out in a statement. I'll read it out. It's a generic statement. This is from uh, the Army. General Manoj Mukund Naravane and all ranks of the Indian Army expressed their deepest grief and sorrow over the untimely demise of General Bipin Rawat, Chief of Defence Staff, Mrs. Madhulika Rawat, President of the DWWA, and 11 other military personnel in an unfortunate air accident today that is the 8th of december general bipin rawat india's first cds was a visionary who initiated far reaching reforms in the indian military's higher defense organization he was instrumental in creating the foundation of india's joint theater commands and giving impetus to the increased indigenization of military equipment a legacy which will be carried on and strengthened by successive generations 
Mrs. Madhulika Rawat, also a former president of the Army Wives Welfare Association or AWA, was an epitome of grace whose presence will be missed by everyone. The deceased 11 military personnel accompanied, accompanying the CDS and the president of the DWWA, that is Mrs. Madhulika Rawat, uh, on the way to Wellington will also be equally missed by everyone. They performed their duties as per the best traditions of the armed forces. So I've just read out for you uh, the, the 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 statement by the statement by the Indian Army on the tragic demise of Chief of Defence Staff. Remember, uh, remember that General uh, Bipin Rawat, uh, before becoming the country's first CDS, was the Chief of the Army Staff. He was Eastern uh, Army Commander uh, before that, as also the country's Vice Chief of Army Staff. A 43-year career of uh, unstinting duty, including peacekeeping duties uh, in different parts of the world. Uh, this is a general who had truly earned his stripes, a general who had risen to the very top by sheer dint of commitment to the national cause, a person who has risked his life, a person who has been in operations, someone who was, uh, uh, who, who was in many ways the brains behind uh, you know, uh, cross-border operations in Myanmar, the surgical strikes and many other uh, operations uh, as well. Uh, uh, Gaurav, I want to bring you back in as we you know, await word from, uh, from outside seven Lokalyan Marg and the, and, the, and the Cabinet Committee on Security meeting. Uh, take us through what happens next, Gaurav, within the military because uh, uh, you know, the, 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 the luxury for grieving uh, is, is very, very brief for our men and women in uniform. The show must go on. Uh, this tragic uh, unspeakable loss of General Bipin Rawat uh, is something that will be, uh, you know, uh, will be processed. Uh, but but the show has to go on. Successors have to be appointed. The paperwork has to be, uh, you know, completed, and the system has to roll along now. Shiv, you're absolutely right. You're spot on. The system, the show must go on, and for the show to go on, um, a next uh, Chief of Defence Staff will need to be appointed uh, and the cabinet committee on security will be briefed uh, by the defense secretary so uh, it's the defense secretary who will put names together uh, of the commanders in chief uh, of the army navy and air force uh, and then it is for the appointments committee of the cabinet um, and and the cabinet committee on security for them to take a call on who would be the most apt person for the task because general bipin rawat's work was only half done well begun but half done so it was extremely crucial uh, theatrization integration of the armed forces indianization of weapons uh, you know there was a lot on yeah. his table and literally shiv when you and i went to his office in south block and that was one section of south block uh, which we really didn't go to because there wasn't uh, a chief of defense staff office before enter gate 11 and then just turn left and end of the corridor was this office where general bipin rawat would be sitting with so many files so many uh, uh, papers on his desk working constantly and the room adjoining you would have breeder leader and constant stream yeah. of, of generals and admirals and air marshals and even youngsters coming in uh, you know for just one brief minute one brief interaction with the chief of defense staff um, and here he would be talking about whether theatrization one moment uh, or integration the other moment or indigenous weapons the third moment or training the fourth moment or medical services uh, and there were so many meetings that were happening almost constantly uh, so there would be someone who would need to fill in uh, those those shoes really quickly. Uh, perhaps uh, you know, uh, uh, in in the next couple of days, perhaps we will know who is the next chief of defence staff, and then, yeah. and that up chain who would be the next CNC wherever or the or the services chief wherever, depending on who the prime minister chooses. Uh, absolutely, I mean, uh, you know, God of that. It, it, it feels almost unfair to speak about the show going on, but that really is what the military is all about. Uh, and General Bipin Rawat, I dwelt on this earlier, but I'd like to say this over and over again. General Bipin Rawat was an officer who was so full of life, who had so much of a zest for life, who was so practical uh, and was so committed to duty and process that he would have, he would have, watching all of this right now, he would have said, look, stop all this. Just appoint the next guy, let's get on with the show because there's work to be done. We don't have a moment to lose. We've got adversaries on our borders, you know, making, uh, you know, making life difficult. We don't have time for all this, you know, quit all this ceremony and emotion. Let's get on with the work that the country has 
committed us to doing. That's the kind of person that General Bipin Rawat really was. And Gaurav and I both uh, knew him not just through our work, but we also knew him personally. Uh, Gaurav has known him for much longer, has seen uh, General Bipin Rawat and interacted with him, uh, you know, from the time that he was a, a, you know, a brigadier and a major general, rising up to be an Eastern Army commander, uh, you know, famously uh, Eastern Army commander during the uh, during the, the Myanmar cross-border raids, uh, he was vice chief when the surgical strikes happened. He became the chief of army staff and then the country's first chief of the defense staff. Bipin Rawat, he was an alumnus of the National Defense Academy and the Indian Military Academy. He was awarded Sword of Honor, which means he's the best performing cadet at the Indian Military uh, Academy. He was commissioned into the 11 Gorkha Rifles Regiment of the Indian Army. It's an infantry regiment uh, in December 1978. He was part of United Nations peacekeeping uh, force missions uh, several times, including in the Republic of Congo. He became the vice chief of the army staff on the 1st of September 2016. And he became chief of defense staff on the 30th. He became uh, uh, he became the chief of the army staff on 31st of December 2016, and he took oath as India's first chief of defense staff in 2019. Uh, th this was a post that was created to engender better coordination between the army, navy, and air force. He's a highly decorated officer, as Gaurav was telling us, with the Vishish Seva Medal and the Uttam Yud Seva Medal as well. Gaurav, uh, you know, uh, j j just to draw you back in for a moment, because the Chief of Defence Staff was a post that was actually recommended after the Kargil War, if I'm not mistaken. The Kargil Review Committee, way back in the early 2000s, had actually recommended it, and it took a whole two decades for that post to actually be created. The Modi government finally bit the bullet and created that position. General Bipin Rawat was the first man to occupy that office. It was a hugely prestigious thing, but in many ways, the 20 years that lapsed was uh, in some ways symptomatic of the malaise that General ba Bipin Rawat was trying to fix, to create a leaner, speedier, faster responding military. The one-man military advisor to the government of India. That was envisaged, um, uh, you know, the role of the chief of defense staff. And you're absolutely right, uh, Shiv. When I appeared before the Kargil Review Committee, uh, headed by uh, K. Subramaniam, uh, the current external affairs minister's father, uh, late K. Subramaniam was very keen and he pushed uh, for the chief of defense staff uh, to be appointed. And that was in the year 2000, immediately after the Kargil War of 1999. And since then, uh, it's just been in the works, in the works. It just never took off till the time that Prime Minister Narendra Modi decided a CDS would be appointed. And Shiv, you'd recall when you and I went and met the first chief of defense staff, General Bipin Rawat, uh, you know, that, that, big, that big laugh that it's finally happened after 20 long years. But then he said, this is no time to celebrate because this is the time to really work and work very hard to ensure that the CDS is able to deliver what the CDS has been appointed yeah. to achieve. And it's a, it's a big task. It's not um, a symbolic post. It's not just appointing one more four-star general. There were major reforms that were to be carried out. Ministry of Defence, after so many years, was shaken up. Uh, it was... Trifurcated or, or cut in more parts and a, and a Department of Military Affairs came up uh, and he was heading that uh, Department of Military Affairs. So Shiv, so much Absolutely. was in the pipeline until this tragic air crash. This is a jolt, but the show has to carry on. The, 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 the show must move on. Life has to go on. Je General Bipin Rawat wouldn't have wanted anything more than that. A true tragedy for his family and the families of the 11 other persons who have perished and we remember all of them equally. We'll have their names and their pictures on your screen in just a moment. Very quick break, back with much more. We're expecting more information from the government when you back.